I'm the owner and uh, president of the Over the Top Aviation Inc. Uh, we've been here in Cache, Arkansas for four years and uh, been flying for, I think this is my 29th year, flying helicopters, uh, doing aerial application. I actually went to school to become an A&P mechanic and uh, my first job that I got was working with guys that were spraying with helicopters. And uh, after I got my first helicopter ride at about the age of 18, I was hooked. And so then I spent every waking minute trying to get my license, you know. And uh, so I, I worked as an A&P and an IA for about three or four years after I got out of school while I was continually building my hours. And then a group of farmers, a friend of mine had a, had a company, or a, a group of farmers actually started a company and a friend of mine was flying for them. And uh, we, we started flying for that group of farmers in about 19, I started in 1994 for that group. And then uh, we flew for them for, uh, we, they owned the company until 2008, he and I bought that company. And then uh, in 2018, I decided his sons were getting older and we just decided it was time that we kind of went different ways there. So I moved over here and uh, been here ever since. So we primarily treat uh, rice, Rice is our biggest crop. We do some soybeans, some corn as well. Uh, we do uh, herbicide, fungicide, insecticide uh, applications on, on those crops, and we do a good bit of fertilizer application as well, you know, dry granular. We do that with our airplanes. We have the helicopter, and then we have a 502 air tractor and an 802 air tractor that we, we use both in the spraying and the fertilizing as well. Okay. Yeah, what makes aerial application with a helicopter different than, than fixed wing aircraft is I can slow down more, I can spray from anywhere from, you know, 60 miles an hour to 85 or 90 miles an hour and and uh, especially, you know, it, it does well in big fields but it can do well in tight areas as well around power lines and, and trees and things but it also, you know, does a good job out in the crop. I uh, feel like that, uh, you know, we're a little lower and a little slower and a lot of my customers like that, you know, but uh, you know, we, we just try to be unique in our applications and do good jobs. We, all the different technologies now, we've got clear field rice and uh, Provisio rice, and different things like that. And we try to uh, try to be precise in those applications. That's, so our helicopter is a, a 68 model UH-1H. It, uh, it actually saw action and went to service in Vietnam in 1970. Um, the guy that actually flew it when it was brand new in Vietnam looked up the serial number several years ago and uh, came and, and uh, kind of, we did a, a test flight with it, with him in there, and uh, he really liked that. And, um, but that, uh, we, we got the aircraft from the Atlanta Police Department, and we took it through certification, and got it, you know, in restricted category. And uh, so that was a, kind of a long process, and, and uh, that was in 2002 that we did that. And so I've been flying the same aircraft since 2002. And you know, although the helicopter is, is a 68 model, it's been repurposed, you know, with the, with the latest technology. It has, a, you know, GPS and flow control, and uh, so we can dial in exactly what we do. We can do as applied maps, and we can do, uh, you know, shape files if we have a farmer that needs that. And uh, it just, you know, it's a purpose-built machine for the aerial application.